Multi Physics Box 10 Vibration Settings. Welcome to this tutorial. Within the next minutes, we will explain the vibration settings for the Multi Physics Box 10. This includes the block length and averaging, the signal base, trigger options, the activity detection, and the severity zone boundaries. Chapter 1 Block Length and Averaging The time domain key values are calculated based on a block of recorded vibration data. The length of this block can be adjusted in the settings. The block length can be set between 20 milliseconds and 640 milliseconds. In single axis mode, the block length can be even extended to 1280 milliseconds. A shorter block length means more frequent updating. A longer block length means higher averaging and thus lower noise of the indication values. By averaging over several blocks, the number of blocks can be adjusted here in the settings. The noise of the indication values can be reduced even further. However, this reduces the update rate of the vibration key values. Chapter 2 Signal Base In time domain, the RMS key values are available based on both acceleration key values, which is the ARMS, and velocity vibration values, which is the VRMS. For all other time domain key values, the signal base, acceleration or velocity, can be selected in the advanced settings. Please be aware this selection is valid for time domain and frequency domain. Phenomena that primarily cause vibration at frequencies up to 1000 Hz can be better observed with velocity-based vibration values. Acceleration-based key values should be used to detect phenomena that primarily cause higher frequency vibrations. Chapter 3 – Trigger Condition monitoring requires repeatable conditions and corresponding data quality. In applications with continuous uniform speeds, such as pumps or fans driven by asynchronous motors, this is usually the case. But it is not the case with dynamic non-uniform movements, such as punches, presses or motors with changing loads. Here, the data must be recorded at a specific point in time, at which a constant vibration pattern is expected. If recording of data is to be started at an exactly defined time, instead of automatic data recording, it can be manually triggered either via an index or via pin 2. Pin 2 means also selecting the rising edge, falling edge or both edges. If required, this trigger can be delayed by an adjustable time. Chapter 4 – Activity Detection The activity detection allows the sensor to only update the key values if a vibration is detected. This avoids that the key values are calculated from the noise signal. The activity detection can be enabled in the vibration settings. If the activity detection is enabled and no vibration is detected, the vibration life values are set to zero. And no alerts are generated. The limits, which can be adjusted in the advanced settings, are based on the ARMS magnitude value. If the ARMS exceeds the limit, activity limit, an activity is detected. 
if the ARMS falls below the no activity limit, no activity is detected. Chapter 5. Limit values according to the ISO standard 10816-3. The Multiphysics Box 10 allows to automatically set the pre-max limit and the max limit for the VRMS according to the ISO standard 10816-3. This can be done in the settings. The limit values, which are called severity zone boundaries, are based on the machine type and the associated substructure. Machines in group 1 are large machines, machines in group 2 are medium-sized machines. The associated substructure can be either rigid or elastic. By selecting the corresponding machine, the limits are set automatically in the sensor, which can be seen here and here.